The History of Money in 10 Minutes. Number four, controlling money. Years ago, on the Pacific island of Yap, the nearest thing to gold was the ray stone, notable for its enormous size and weight. From the day the chiefs decided to ask for their taxes in ray stones, it meant that for all taxpayers, the currency became universal, unavoidable, and under the control of the chief. The most valuable ray stones were just so heavy that the Yap population tended to leave their currency in one place and then trade effectively in promises. Any trader who owned a ray stone on Yap could issue a promissory note against the value of their stone. And thus, banking was born. And once the chiefs accept these promissory notes instead of ray stones for their taxes, they effectively lose control of the amount of money in circulation, the money supply. In the 20th century, some economists argued that the amount of money in circulation directly affects economic performance and it is important for governments to try to control it. But this is not easy, especially when it's private lenders that create most of it. Get more from The Open University. Check out the links on screen now.